All right, part two of our poly art project. We've got ourselves cut out using a vector mask. And now it's time to go ahead and do the filters. Now, like we talked about before, a smart filter would be awesome. But unfortunately, smart filters are not going to work for this particular uh, filter that we're going to be doing. And so I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to grab my polygon lasso tool. And this is a tedious and slow process, but very rewarding once you're done. So this one's going to take a while. But you're going to start choosing triangles. And, and you want to look at the uh, areas and choose triangles based on detail. So I'm going to do a nice big triangle right here. And it just makes a selection. That's all, our, just like we've done earlier, making selections. Now, make sure you that you're on the right layer, so you're not on a mask. And you're on the layer that you want to do. Again, um, this doesn't show it, but I'd like to have a copy of this just in case I don't like what I did. I can, I've got a backup. And then the filter we're going to do is filter, blur, average, and it's just going to take the average of all the colors in that one spot and blend them together. And boom, it just made one average tone. And then since I'm on create new, I just need to click outside of the circle. If I try to click inside the circle, that's where it caused problems. Outside the circle, I'm going to make another triangle and close it and do it again. Filter. But here's what you want to notice. Look right there. The last filter is right there. So you could click right there and it'll do the last one. Or if you notice that there was a... Um, a keystroke associated with that, alt Control f It's a little awkward to hit all at once, but you just get all your fingers in the right position. You can just alt Control f until your heart is desired, you know. Yep, see, I just clicked it wrong, so it kind of popped up. So you got to be kind of careful with the, the keystroke. Um, here's another quick note. Let's, and as you get smaller or more detailed, you need to make smaller triangles. Okay. And even smaller still. So I'm going, now let's say you're having a hard time with this um, tool and you can't, you're not, you're clicking, you're clicking, you're, it's just not closing, it's not closing, it's not closing. Um, you can always hit enter and that will close it off. And that one looks bad, so I'm going to redo that one, deselect. Um, or if you're getting really bad, you're like, ah, what the heck, it's all over the place. You can hit escape, and that will get it out. Okay, so escape or enter will set it. But just keep making lots and lots of triangles. Okay? this, Like I said, this part takes a while, but you can uh, get it with some time. And so with some time... I zoomed out and you can see here, on this layer right here, I've got quite a few more triangles. This is probably 20 to 25 minutes worth of work. So it's going to take a little while to get the whole thing done. And I also added a nice little gradient in the background. Um, I went in and I, I, because I was wearing a green jacket, I went into the greens and I picked, uh, I think, the screen right there. And then... I also made it from linear to radial, kind of move that circle around, maybe scale that up a little bit, and set a background. We can do that when we're done, but you'll have all these triangles covering the entire length of your body. And again, when, when you get to the big areas like up in here, do big, nice, big triangles. When you're in detailed areas, do smaller triangles. And it may not look great when you're... Um, zoomed in but as you zoom out as you can see it looks just fine um, another tr tip at, you want to make sure you overlap your triangles okay so when you're making your triangles out over here I'm going to click and overlap some that were before me see how I overlap those Oop, I'm on the wrong layer yeah, make sure I'm on the right layer there we go boom and if you find you little gaps later on, you can just zoom in and clean those up with what? Guess what? More triangles. Yep. So you see one down here, and just 
That'll just add to the look and just clean it up like that. And then when you get the whole thing done, uh, save it. And then later we can do other fun stuff if you guys want to. We have stuff called gradient maps. We can add lots of color to that, and we'll talk about that uh, at a later time. All right. Good luck. Take your time. Have fun.